Thanks so much, Colleen. Well, it was also a beautiful morning for the Great Tyler Cleanup out south, at Southside Park, and a large number of volunteers were in attendance to help um, to help lend a, hem a helping hand. Bryce Braun Eisen was also in attendance and has more for us. Members of the community were all over Tyler Parks this morning to take place in the Great Tyler Cleanup. This particular event is focused on litter cleanup. We have some people who have braved the creek to get out into the creek and get some trash out of there and some debris out of there. But most people will be picking up litter at Rose Rudman, Southside Park, and the South Tyler Trails. The pandemic made this event very difficult to host the last couple of years. But this year, a turnout even greater than they expected. So in 2021, we had 237 volunteers. We have doubled that this year to over 400. From friends, families, to local high school organizations, everybody came out to make a difference. So uh, I came here with a club from Tyler Legacy High School, the uh, Interact Club. And we're basically just here to volunteer, help out the community, help clean up the parks that, you know, we played in as children. He says volunteering is so valuable to be able to give back to the community. It also helps young people like us, students in high school, you know, learn about the community, meet other people, and just know how to, I guess, care for the place you live in. Andrew Sheila is encouraging others to take advantage of events like this to maintain the beauty of Tyler. Uh, if you're a student, join clubs like us, definitely. Service organizations are, one of the, are some of the best clubs at uh, local high schools for you to go get out there and be, do more in the community. From Tyler, I'm Bryce Braunison. CBS 19 News, putting East Texas first. Thanks so much, Bryce. And the Keep Tyler Beautiful Committee was pleased with the huge turnout and thanks the community for their support.